Good morning and welcome to the Science Magazine program. Union Minister of New and Renewable Energy Shri Prahlad Joshi inaugurated the first annual Green Hydrogen Research and Development Conference organized by Ministry of New and Renewable Energy at Dr Ambedkar International Center New Delhi on 11th of September 2025 He launched a new rupees 100 crore call for proposals to support startups in hydrogen innovation The scheme will provide up to rupees 5 crore per project for pilot projects in innovative hydrogen production storage transport and utilization technologies at the conference 25 startups showcased their innovations ranging from electrolyzer manufacturing to ai driven optimization and biological and hydro hydrogen solutions among them one startup showcased made in india innovation multi stage water splitting generator and burner system engineered for maximum safety and compatibility with existing in infrastructure to explain the benefits of such technology and products the expert in our studio are belur ramalingam kartik muthu kumar sami muthu ratnam and ramanathan sarath kumar the former mp and actor moderator is manoj maingar for the world these are rather challenging times in terms of many many fields of life and it is said every adversity is an opportunity so that makes it also exciting times for the world as well across the world in the backdrop of climate change and fuel crises that come up once in a while a lot is happening in terms of new fuels our country too is not behind now for the listeners if i give you new term water to fuel you might be surprised because i'm not saying water on fuel to quell a fire it's rather to start the fire you were using water that that makes it whoever has learned a bit of chemistry that might come as a very cryptic statement well i am referring to a revolutionary innovation and invention which is a breakthrough in low cost green hydrogen production and to discuss this exciting topic we've invited dr belu ramalingam kartik inventor founder and chief scientist of what we just came to know today is the honk generator we'll ask him later what honk means we also welcome muttu kumar swami muttu raman who is the ceo of the company that has come out with this innovative product we also welcome r shart kumar who's advisory member of honk the firm that that will be making honk he's also been a member of parliament and additionally we also welcome p senthil kumar md of the same firm gentlemen welcome to the studio of all india radio here in new delhi first things can we treat this outfit this firm as a startup as the prime minister generally emphasizes on is it a startup today i am honored to introduce a world first invention a honk gas a revolutionary green hydrogen fuel that is generated instantly on demand using only purified water this ground breaking innovation is the result of 18 years of dedicated research by our brilliant scientist and inventor mr belur ramalingam karthik through his vision we have created a fuel that is a safe non explosive requires no storage and is uh, produced at a very low cost on gas can power industries transportation domestic cooking and power generation making it a true game changer of india and the world and we are deeply thankful thankful to ministry of new and renewable energy for their guidance and support recently we had a privilege of showcasing hand gas at the mnre green hydrogen rnd conference in new delhi our invention received a tremendous appreciation for its potential to transform india's future this is a startup company company was incorporated on 2025 this particular water to fuel concept the revolutionary concept the breakthrough did a dream just occur to you okay let me try in this particular field because nobody else has done it before what is the secret what um, behind the inspiration dr belu ramalingam karthik you are the inventor i'd like you to answer to this question my motto is 0% emission zero carbonless fuel i know the water have hydrogen and oxygen have water but how to splitting that is my motto so i have to try past 20 years converted to hydrogen fuel it's once happened it's amazing invention i know that's why i have to try past 20 years hydrogen converted mm. to fuel it's uh, zero emission 
if you it's a wonderful i'll interrupt you there in a glass in a beaker we yes. would put two electrodes yes. and something Absolutely. would happen is this an extension of that yes the same thing but the mosaic gas doesn't come from the hydrolyzer that is very important we need mosaic gas output we need that's why i invented groid structure that's very important the groid structure made massive hydrogen splitting from the water so basically the world scientist believe hmm. the hydrogen is a explosive material now i breaking the that point i converted to hydrogen to the fuel the safety fuel that is a major thing of the invention will it lessen its inflammability yes absolutely it's a flammable but safety flammable not the in between mm. different explosive is different flammable mm. is different pure hydrogen is explosive material okay right now i converted to fuel material this is the so invention. will they be chemically different from each other the dangerous one and the non dangerous yes. one yes actually my invented the groid structure is delivered to the gas hydrogen plus oxygen it's uh, through one hose one pipe okay. that is the my invention sharat kumar ji you are an advisory member of honk now when inventions happen when innovations happen they don't just stay at the experimental level they have a certain growth okay. trajectory do you see i mean through your experience in the field what chances do you see of this particular invention now all of you were in a function i know in new delhi what are the chances of this getting a commercial angle to it uh, you rightly put it so the world over they're thinking of doing away with fossil fuel and also trying to cover an emission to be reduced totally so when first uh, mr mudukumar sami and mr sandil kumar introduced me to the inventor and scientist mr kartik ji see what attracted me was this very basic thing of anybody in india is honorable prime minister's program make in india that struck me immediately that something very innovative invention has been achieved so i wanted to see for myself and i flew down to coimbatore went to the factory and spoke with the matlat with the little knowledge of science that we learn in school and colleges mm. i went through the whole exercise like you rightly asked about the glass i just wanted to know how is it possible to create an explosive material into flammable normal gas how can you reduce the power of hydrogen to such an extent that it could be used domestically mm. and for other industry purposes i was amazed at the whole thing the way they had conducted the whole thing which he explained the same thing the different principle from pen it is called gem so that attracts more oxygen on the surface of the the groid uh, structure that they have created so that is the whole principle about it more than that i don't think i should say into the scientific innovation that he has tried which will be breaking into the secrets of his in- invention so i understood that it is possible and yeah. they showed the demonstration there which is very very convincing and then i thought this should be taken to the highest level of the country that is honorable prime minister so i thought this should be encouraged and i got myself involved with them started looking into the whole thing and then we have come to this stage of mnre trying to there in the conference when people were very curious to come and have a look at the stall and only thing we couldn't fire and show because it was not permitted over there so we are really satisfied with what has happened the support that mnre has given us mm-hmm. right from the cabinet minister to the state minister to all the secretaries and all those uh, behind the mnre they really supported the idea because everybody is looking for something new and exactly this is what it is and then i'm proud to be associated with this and i'm definitely uh, it is a possibility that will be breaking into the threshold of uh, economic growth in the country more than what it is now we'll grow to the third position second position first position if this is achieved dr karthi have you mixed something with the hydrogen or is it nothing sir i will tell you everything it's my duty my pressure actually we have patent from singapore hmm. almost to 135 countries it's i would like to say everything actually william grew or so many scientists in 1958 invented to splitting water from the hydrogen is a basic thing it's a, already you say it's ninth standard is a, every students know very well but not production huge capacity that is a problem the world scientists believe the hydrogen is the explosive already told yeah. right now i am try to pass 20 years how to product massive hydrogen because my motto is not only cooking stove hmm. my motto is okay. complete industry okay. because per day lot of tons of woodens is firing from boilers and uh, furnace oil and uh, diesel and petrols hmm. it's uh, wooden coal booths yes huh. coal booths my target is uh, pollution pollution is a biggest problem it's a very strongest dangerous indication from the last 100 years the world concentration pollution basically the delhi is right now says stop the diesel cars and the diesel lorry says diesel trucks because of the pollution my motto is 0% emission hmm. no carbon dioxide it's a very very carbon monoxide it's a very biggest problem in the human life taken from the massive fuel safest fuel this is the most important the safest fuel hmm. if my horn gas is any leakages or any problem don't get fire it's immediately liquided atmosphere air we haven't yet gone to the full form of honk actually the water taking from the splitting unit taking from the water hydrogen hmm. oxygen and if need fire you should know the hmm. oxygen is need right so i take the my burner my invention unit is taking the oxygen from the atmosphere nitrogen also mixed in atmosphere that's why my burner is working need the four molecules hmm. hydrogen oxygen 
the nitrogen and carbon dioxide. That's why we will have our body's uh, name is Horn gas, H-O-N-C. I would now delve slightly into the commercial aspect uh, and what I want to know is besides Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, I'm sure you as a business enterprise, you're yeah. obviously looking at expansion exactly. later. So do you have a roadmap in mind after Tamil Nadu, where next? Actually, we can't describe it. this invention is for only Tamil Nadu, first of mm-hmm. all, because this invention made by our chief scientist, Mr. Belur Ramalingam, so hard effort of last 18 years, uh, his hard effort, mm-hmm. he did this invention. This invention can be used for everywhere. Not mm-hmm. only we can't describe within Tamil Nadu, maybe we can start with India, our great nation. So let's go with the Indian market. Once we got an uh, safety norms, a standard license policies from government of India, let's start with the Indian market. Then once we can cover with all the industries, such as uh, maybe we can go with uh, industries, all kind of different kind of industries. Then we will go with uh, further countries. Uh, as like uh, Mr. Belu Ramalingam told that we have patented this uh, invention in Singapore with the uh, PCT, Patent Treaty Applicable Corporate. Through this, uh, we have to focus all the major countries like uh, Europe, US mm. and uh, Middle East as well as uh, Asian countries and Australia and New Zealand. So we can go forward step by step each countries. Besides that, uh, this invention especially he did for the entire the world should be a greener energy. Particularly this energy is for focusing on the entire world green energy to be replaced of uh, entire fossil fuels. Mm. So presently the fossil fuels uh, making a more damages to the air like a uh, climate change issues and the carbon emissions and lot of things is going for. We should save our next generation. Before coming to Delhi for the special function, were any protocols followed after the first prototype was tested locally at your Coimbatore plant? Did it have to go through external checks and things of that sort? Let me explain how the pathway hmm. created. So Mr. Belu Ramalingam invented this invention about four years ago and last year we joined all together. We all together had built this company and taking to this level for reaching a MNRE Expo. Actually, end of the July, we got the patent application okay. number so that we approached it to the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy and then with a great pillar support of Mr. Sarath Kumar Ramanathan to reach them and then we are identified one of the companies who is participated in the last two days in the Expo. We applied our invention to that MNRE totally all over India. Almost 26 companies are selected for that Expo. We are the owner of the company who is selected and then we bring all the machines to here and we showcased them to honorable ministers and uh, all the bureaucrats, all the government's officers, everything. They saw our invention and everything. So once they fix on the standards and policies, then we want to take forward to the next level. I would like to come back to Dr. Belu Ramalingam Karthik. For the sake of our young listeners who are tuned in right now, I would like you to tell them in brief, in a nutshell, your journey in the field of science. I would like to say my delivered words by youngest. Try, try, try. You don't say cannot. This is my unmean. So never say cannot. This is my word to Angus. Your journey as a student in the field of science. Basically, I am electronics uh, student. My younger ages, my I try to uh, invention wireless radio and underwater radio and recording voices. Example, the Mahatma Gandhi voice is some frequency. But after 200 years, I would like to recording that voice. That is my first invented because radio frequency is my researching. That's one by one photo cell sensor and uh, mobile and small, small things and vehicles and a lot of things I invented and uh, without wind energy, electrical energy, it's a lot of things. But post 20 years, the fuel is the my motto because where is the human is struggled? If need the solution, that is the invention. That, that invention is a very good invention. Otherwise, uh, the doesn't use the invention is not invention, it's my thought. Actually, the pollution is the very biggest problem. Yes, the world over and the energy, renewable energy is a very, very most important. That's why my concentration fully focus this. As we come to the conclusion of our a little discussion here on water to fuel. I would like to now add another angle to this entire discourse. I would like to ask our Sharad Kumar, you've been connected with Parliament, you've been connected with the world of films. I'm curious to know, do you have any connection with radio as a medium, All India Radio in particular? So my connection is very strong with All India Radio. I'm so nostalgic to again step in. I've come a couple of times here. And once again, being here where Bapu had recorded, and there's one more additional uh, privilege that 
that we are all of us are having today and the connections are really strong and because radio was one which initially went to the people before much before the television came into so that was the main thing you just join the radio you listen to commentaries we didn't know what was happening in the cricket field so radio plays a vital role in our society and the people and it should continue forever mr muttu ratnam any parting words from your side yes i would like to say some key points about our uh, products mm. first point this is a green energy 100% clean fuel derived from purified water you don't need like just our water is enough you can use it and significantly cheaper than conventional hydrogen and lpg non explosive and completely safe for all environments and then on demand generation instant generation so no need any storage or pipelines needed and another thing is a high energy output for industrial and domestic applications and it compatible with existing boilers engines and automobiles and highly scalable from home to large scale industries we are able to achieve it and a simple setup requires only purified water and electricity and the future ready for transportation and presently we will use it for every sectors we can replace it for including power plants and it is a global solution for a clean and sustainable energy transition and then production cost significantly low emissions and the zero emissions the key point which is achieved for us present market is for 350 to 450 rupees for the hydrogen production cost and we achieved very big challenging price is for 150 rupees per kilo so government is planning on 2030 for targeting 200 rupees the production cost but we achieved right now for 150 rupees per kilo the production cost because of our gem technology our scientist mr belur ramalingam told that he invented that uh, gem technology with low input of power low input of water with a massive output of the gas we achieved with his support of this uh, production cost for 150 rupees per kilogram of hydrogen so this for example if we use with a domestic application like a cooking stove for example with two burners with our hand gas generator a small equipment you can plug in electricity and you can pour 5 liter water it can use for 6 months and then you should pay every month just for 90 rupees even less than 100 rupees only one unit per day it consumes the electricity so it's a very tremendous a very big achievement for him mr belu ramalingam did so far this is the major key points which i want to say with them also we cover industrial burners and boilers and power generator and turbines as well as automobiles and domestic cooking and stoves so this scalability is very easy lot of growth countries also dropped that uh, due to non scalability but we achieved easy scalability that is the very biggest invention gentlemen that was a very very stimulating discussion on an entirely new topic the topic was new but the problem it addresses has been around for a long time and it affects the entire world so with all good wishes to keep going on your path of your subject your research i thank all of you for sparing time to come for the sake of listeners of all india thank, thank you so much thank for giving so much. us the opportunity thank you, thank you. Narrated by Nisha Bharatwaj and produced by Dilip Jha. This broadcast came to you from the Indiprastha channel of Akashwani Delhi.